and everything and allows you to tune um, the ride and everything. So this is like the standard configuration. Um, comes to like so. So you can run it without any You're an engineer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I used to design engines. Yeah. Race I read that. Like that. Um, it's completely hollow. So you can see that it's really squishy on this end, uh, but then really stiff on this side. So it's also uh, angled as well. So one side is uh, bigger diameter than the other one. Uh, the reason why is to reduce, number one, to reduce roller resistance. So is this the outboard side? Yeah, this is the outboard side, yeah. Um, and then so cornering. It's, it's little tape. Yeah. Um, so while, while cruising, you're ro rolling on this side. That looks sick. And so that reduces roller resistance. Um, this is also made out of ADA, so uh, much less trunking issues than you would have with some wheels. But it uses what's called a compliant mechanism. So it's basically using the flexibility of the material as opposed to just you know, really soft compound. Um, so more than that, you can, with one bolt, you can swap out uh, in the inserts, which is right here. Um, we have different durometers, and you can also fine tune the weight as well. What's um, better, so lighter or lighter, right? So it really depends on your, your riding style. Um, okay. I would say that if you want mo maximum comfort, you can ride without it. So if you're more of a grip guy, you want more uh, range, um, or you're going for a longer distance, then you might want these um, because it increases the the um, sidewall stiffness for more grip. Also, if you want to coast more, that's why I put the weights in here. It's still very light, but we, by placing weight on the outside, you increase the inertia of the wheel, increase the coasting distance. With without the, it's 20, 284 grams. So that's about as light as a Kawama. Basically, put on an insert from there. 